What's up, you yep, Android fans? Tekken is back with another app roundup. So let's get to it. All right. First, we have Ripple Lock. This is a lock screen replacement. So check it out. All you have to do is start it and click start, and then we're done. And let's lock the screen and watch unlock see that that's the honeycomb screen the only bad part is you got ads here there's a way to disable these ads by uh, doing certain procedures like uh, downloading certain apps or whatever uh, they have it in the description when you download the app uh, ripple lock is this it's the honeycomb lock screen just click it and it's done let me show you that again pretty simple no settings uh, actually there are a couple of settings um, let's see watch uh, settings what we can do is we can increase uh, decrease font size what that means is basically let's see background settings do we want to diminish the wallpaper or whatever and then uh, we can even have shortcuts so we can even have shortcuts from the lock screen like check it out display shortcuts and you can have what left shortcut does, right shortcut, I'll show you what that is in a second and then there's unlock animation, like unlock animation is like fade to the right, like let's have fade to the right right now now watch, when I lock my screen and I unlock it, see that, this is the unlock animation I mean unlock display icons, I can go to my phone, I can go to my all I have to do is drag it onto my, uh, no, wait, hold on let's wait for it to go back, okay all I have to do is drag the phone icon into the thing and boom right into the phone let's show you that again these are just save the uh, display shortcuts uh, I can go to my browser camera whatever and then if I unlock see that it fades to the right let me show you that one more time and then we're done fade to the right that's it so there are a couple of settings you can play around with so that's ripple lock it's pretty it's free on the Android market next up Next up, we have Go SMS. Go SMS is uh, basically an SMS replacement or a message replacement. The cool part is, look at this. I can s switch from screen to screen. Like these are my messages. These are my folders, and then I got the like. I can go into my Facebook chat right from here. I can go. I can go into Theme Shop. That is, change the themes. I can go into Instant Messenger, that is Go Instant Messenger, and then I can even go into Go SMS widget. So these are pretty sh like shortcuts, and then these are my messages, and these are the folders. Like the best part about this is themes. Like, no wait, uh, there we go. Like if I go into themes, see that all these themes to choose from. Let me show you a bright one apply red okay so this is a red theme and watch see everything is now red I can even change this this animation that is going from right to left like it's fading out I can change it I can come uh, I can make it like different like different tabs or something so it's pretty cool and it's pretty fast and smooth so definite download forget hand sent this is the new one go SMS free on the Android market you don't have to use go launcher for this you can have any launcher or you can even have your stock launcher it's just an SMS app and it's free on the Android market next up we have a Twitter client I know most of you some of you are not into Twitter and some of you are this is plume it's pretty good you can go swipe to the right swipe to the left you can go into this is my uh, me and tech is the is my plume I mean my Twitter uh, name and then let's see I can even have a widget watch I even have a widget right here I can check all my updates right here from my home screen so that's uh, that was what was that that was where are we plume so it's pretty good Twitter client nice and easy to use next up we have what is this dock for droid so it's dock for droid remember in the opening screen I was using this this is a dock screen watch 
See that reddish hue at the base right over there? There's a reddish hue. See that reddish hue? All I have to do is hold it and boom. Oh wait, it went straight in. Boom. See that? These are all my recently opened apps. So I can go into whichever app I want, click on it, let's go to let's go to phone. Suppose I want to go to phone. I just click on phone and boom, I'm in phone. Right? So that's uh, Doc for Droid. It's uh, you can have uh, you can have it display different icons if you want, or I have it set to display uh, only uh, what is this recent applications that I opened up. So that's Doc for Droid, really handy. I can have it uh, at the base, like at the right, whatever I want. Like watch, let's switch it to the right. Doc for Droid. Let's go into the settings. That's just tutorial, uh, custom launcher, secondary dock, that's another download. For that you need to pay. Dock for Droid is completely free on the market. And uh, maximum recent tasks, we can have 20, 30, I have it to 10, that's enough. Okay, dock orientation, that's the one. We want it to the right, we can have it to the right. See that heat reddish hue is now on the right. Like watch. Let me go back, back, and boom I have it right over here on the right that's more handy I guess it's easier yeah so that's Doc for Droid free on the Android market next up we have wireless file transfer pro wireless file transfer pro this is basically um, you don't have to connect the wire the USB cable to the computer you can uh, download wirelessly now if you're on a Wi-Fi network all you have to do is click start like right over there I'm gonna click start okay all we have to do is click start boom I got a notification that it started okay so now it's active like right over there it says go to so and so number 192 so all you have to do is punch this in and you will be set 192.168.2.3.8888 so now you can wirelessly file transfer you even have a file manager right over here so you can check whatever you want to transfer like pictures whatever so that's perfect no no more wireless no more wires and anything you forget the wire at home no problem so that's wireless file transfer let's actually yeah that's deactivated perfect okay next up we have cover droid cover droid is basically a wallpaper app it shows you good wallpapers like you can download recent wallpapers like right there you go to next you can search so many wallpapers you can even go to search once you go into search you can search the entire internet right from here or you can just search the database and then we have categories have lots of categories to play around with let's go to nature and even that we have subcategories so see that beautiful wallpapers wow these are actually really good I haven't checked these out okay so you can just go to download like suppose I want to download a wallpaper I like this um, let's go to save and the wallpaper is being saved you can set the wallpaper right from here by clicking right there you can even check out what your recent downloads are and that's it so that's cover droid really nice wallpaper re uh, wallpaper app next up okay let's quit okay Next up we have audio manager. What audio manager is actually Watch See this is audio manager, right? It's nothing. It's just you can manage your Alarm volume music volume, but that's what it is. It looks like that's what it is But actually it's a file hiding files so you can hide files folders apps whatever Login I haven't set a password, so I just log in I can hide my pictures did I just click on that ad I think I did okay I can hide pictures from here I haven't hidden any pictures yet I can hide uh, videos I can even hide apps I can lock apps I can uh, hide some songs so watch let's hide a uh, let's hide uh, let's go into my gallery this is swipe pad that I'm using let's go into gallery okay okay let's go into pictures wallpapers 
We downloaded a wallpaper recently. Okay, it's not here. Okay, wherever it is. Okay, suppose I want to hide a picture. Suppose I want to hide this picture, Natalie Portman. Okay, so suppose I want to hide it. All I have to do is share. Click on share, and then click on audio manager. Now it says, should I create a? F you have to create a folder to hide it in. Uh, we don't have a folder. See, we don't have a folder. So we go to create folder. Let's just call it test, right? And then create folder. Select folder. Okay, and it's hidden. Go back. Now it's hidden. Now it won't be here. Watch. And if we go, wait, 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 wait. Why is it still here? You have to wait for it to actually work. See, it's gone. There, boom. Natalie Portman is now gone. All you have to do is go back into Audio Manager. You have to hold that button on top. Watch. Hold Audio Manager right over here. Hold it. Log in. Go to Pictures. And that's Natalie Portman right over there, hidden. You can always unhide her. And if you want. So that's pretty good. Um, that's it for now. Uh, no, that's, that's it for this. Okay, next up. What is next up? So many more apps to go. Okay, another app blocker or whatever, hiding apps. This is called Advanced App Locker. So Advanced App Locker, you can actually lock apps. What happened? Come on. Okay. Suppose I want to hide my browser. Okay, right over there. Click on it. See? default lock method. So default lock method is it just creates a black screen or you can have whatever message you want like watch. Let's go to settings. Lock all application enable unlock validity period default lock method. Okay. Draw pattern type of password. This is the ways to unlock it. So either you have a password lock or a pattern lock or a black screen lock a screen with text, a screen with an image, or force close dialog. Okay? So let's have, let's have, right now we have show black screen. Okay? So we have show black screen. And let's try to go into my browser from here. Alright. That's my browser right there. And see? Just a black screen. You have to double tap on the right upper corner and boom. We're in. So that's how you lock. So whenever you try to unlock, whenever you try to open the locked app, all it shows a black screen. So people will think, what? It's not loading, and they just click, click black, B black, back. I don't know why my tongue is slipping so much. Okay, next up. So that was app. What was that? This was advanced app locker. Next up, animated widget. Animated widget is basically like a folder. Like this is Ultimate Face Pro, and you can have different apps in it, right? Animated widget is something like that. I have it right over here. Watch. That's animated widget. It shows up like that. It's a folder containing different apps. And boom. See that? Those are different apps. If I want to click on any of them, I can go right into any game, whatever I want. So that's animated widget. And let's see. What else do I have for you guys? Uh, wait, let's go to a clean screen. Yeah. Okay, that should have been it. Yep, animated widget was the last one. And one more thing before, just a bonus app is the new Android market is out. The link will be in, down in the description below. It looks like Windows Seven kind of phone. Like, watch, this is the new animated mar This is the new ma Android market. The link will be down in the description. So they even have movies and books now. So suppose I want to go into games. I go into games and they have different tiles for it. See? Different tiles. Suppose I want to go into one of them, like cut the rope. I'm going to cut the rope. The price is right over there, up there. The pictures are right over here. It's pretty cool, actually. I really like it. And everything is down here. And let's see. Um, let's go to... And then we have featured on top. We have paid. You just have to scroll to the right. We have top free, top paid. See, it's so easy to scroll. Top paid, featured, 
and then we have categories over here all these categories live wallpaper casual card casino these are different games when we enter games and we can even go to apps uh, this is a movie you can download the movie right from here is for 399 the mechanic uh, pretty okay solid it's not that great I don't know okay that's it that's it for now that's tech and me signing out peace and subscribe don't forget to hit that like button bye bye